Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Coding Bites. I am Joanne, an educator at Coding Lab, and today we are going to focus on music extension. We will learn how to code on a piano key as well as to create a song together. Our game today will be Nursery Rhyme, where you can play the piano or click on sprites to play songs. Let's take a quick review at what you'll make at the end of the day. Everyone loves a good nursery rhyme. You can try and click on the piano tiles and play some music. For example, And that is a short example of Mary had a little lamp. You would also realize that when you click on the lamp sprite, a song will go off. You can also press this button to explore the different songs. Now that you have seen the game, let's log into our Scratch account and click on the project in the description box below. You can't hear anything when you press the piano or animal sprite. Can you help to make the music up here? What are you waiting for? Click on the remix button and let's get started. You will notice that all of the sprites of the piano keys do not have any music codes to it. Hence, we need to go to the extension sprite and click on music. This way, we have the music extension. Next, we will first learn to code our first key, C. Be sure that you are on the right sprite, as we do not want to code for another sprite. First, we'll go to events block. Under events block, you can click on when this sprite is clicked. What will happen when this sprite is clicked? We want this sprite to play a note. Let's go to music and play note for 0 0.5 beat. We will adjust accordingly and click on the correct key. Next, we'll realize that key C has two costumes. To make it look like we are clicking on it, we need to switch costume. However, it doesn't switch it back. Hence, we need to switch back to one. It looks like nothing is happening because we need to add another weight block and add the seconds so that it looks like we are clicking on it. Next up, we'll need to learn how to duplicate these codes to the rest of the codes. We'll try it for note D. We need to drag these codes and under note D, we release it. So when we go to note D, we'll realize that the codes are already here. However, when I click on note D, something sounds not right. This is because these codes are for note C. Hence, we'll need to adjust accordingly. Okay, we'll try one more time for note E. Drag and hold. Release it only when you're at note E. Sounds the same for note D. Hence, we need to adjust accordingly. All right, we are done with note E. Let's try it out. Can you pause this video to try and code for the rest of the codes? Welcome back. Before we begin coding our song and nursery, can you try to press all the piano and make sure that you have everything with you? Now that we are officially done coding for our piano, we will want to code for our sprite characters. We will learn to code for Mary Had a Little Lamb. Be sure that you are on the correct sprite. Next, 
you will go to events and click when this sprite is clicked. What we want this sprite to do is to play the music. Hence, we'll need to go to the music and make sure that we set our instrument to piano. Next. The first note for this is E. Make sure we click on this and we change it to E. Our next note is D. Our third note is C. Our fourth note is D. Next, you'll realize that our next few notes are E's. There are three E's in total. Hence, we can go to control block and click on this, repeat, and we can adjust to three. We can next go to the music block and play note E. Let's see how it sounds like first. Sounds good. Can you pause this video and quote the rest of the Mary Had a Little Lamb? Welcome back. Let's check your answer. Well, the keys are correct, but it sounds a little slow. This is because, again, you can go to wait and add 0.5 seconds here and wait and add 0.5 seconds here. Let's see the difference. Sounds smoother, isn't it? We are done coding for the music for this sprite. However, we need to broadcast to all of our other sprites that when this sprite is clicked, we are starting the song. Only when we have this broadcast, we are able to see the keyboard being lighted up. Hence, we can go to events and broadcast. Merry song. After we are done with the song, we need to broadcast to all of our other sprites and let them know that we are done with the song. We need to click on this, End of Mary. Let's see how it goes. Now that we are officially done with coding of Mary Had a Little Lamb, can you pause this video and try to code for the rest of the codes? Like for the mice and for the sheep. Once you're done, you'll have something like this. We are finally done with our project. Can you do more? Of course you can. You can add your own nursery that you like. Yay! Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do give us a thumbs up and hit on the subscribe button for more Coding Bytes. See you next time. Bye-bye!